Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss about report generation in R. So, how we can generate a very organized report in R that we will see today. For this, we will directly go into the environment of R. We now very well know how to generate the data frame. So, I'll first of all generate a data frame. This is a social data. So, it's giving me the output here. Now I want the same output to be transferred in the text file. So I'll include one more line in the command, and that is sync. To inverted commas, output one. I want it in a doc file. So I'm di I, I'm diverting my uh, output, and then I will close the sync. I'll rerun the command again. Run. Now I'll go into the documents and you can see how organized output it is giving me. But there is one uh, limitation of this command. It cannot divert the graphics file. And for that, we'll again have to go back. And first of all, let us try to generate one graph. I'll attach social data. I'll again run plot, height, and weight. Now, this I want to divert. You can divert this with the help of command line that is JPG. I'll name this as scatter plot one dot JPG. And then I will say graphics. Oh, this will divert, divert my output. Let me see. Is it doing it? One, two, three. I'll go in again in the document. And you can see now the, the graph is generated in documents. Now there is one more way to generate a very organized output. R. For this, again you go in. R markdown. You can name anything here. I'll say data analysis. I want to generate HTML, PDF, or Word file. So I'll say let us skip it. HTML. Click OK. New, new window will appear with RMD extension. Now, what you will have to do the code which you have already uh, generated here, just copy this code. Bring it here, and you will have to replace this code in between this two lines. So three times dash, then R. Again, this three times dash should be retained, otherwise, the code will not run. All unnecessary things are to be removed. We forgot to write one more thing and that is plot. I'll also bring this code plot, copy. Now I'll run this code, knit. It'll ask me where you want to save this file. I'll say demo D. save. You can see it gives me uh, output in a very organized format. Graphics is also there and the data is also there. If you don't want to display the command lines and the output, again, you go back here. And there is a small setting button here. Activate this. And this time, so output only, apply. Again, net. So now the command line will not be shown, only output. Now there is one more method to generate the organized output. Again, let us go back and install the package Flexbox. Installing the package Flex dashboard. After the installation is complete, 
you can activate its library by writing library flex test plot activated. Now again you go back in R markdown. This time you will go in template and activate the flex dashboard click OK. Now all those commands which were there in our previous scripts again I'll copy it from copy here attach social data copy same way I'll copy it here control V I'll remove this now it has given me a space for charts so plot height and weight the first chart I can also change the dimensions from here for each and every chart. Now this data in width is 650, so this chart will be large. I can again plot the chart between height and cholesterol. I can again plot the chart between weight and cholesterol. I will knit it again. It will ask me the destination. You can see the output is much more organized. So depending upon my requirement, I can give the size of each and every chart. All these codes are available in my book that is data analysis using R book is available on amazon.in as well as amazon.com this book for more videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter thank you